Hey guys, welcome back to Midnight Violets. Today's video is going to be all about showing you my rubbish, my trash, all my empty products that I finished up recently um, and I'll just give you sort of an idea of what I thought of them, whether they were good, whether they were bad, whether I'm going to run out and get them again. Um, I'm using a different camera today so bear with me if the quality is not so good. Um, but the first one we have is this Garnier Ultimate Blends Conditioner. I thought this was really good. I did buy it um, when it first released, so there was like some kind of deal on. I think it was two for four pounds. So I got the shampoo as well. This is the conditioner. I think I might have said it was a shampoo a second ago. Definitely a conditioner. Um, and this is the cocoa um, and coconut one. So really good, definitely recommend that. <clears throat> Next up I have the Enspa Tropical Lime and Coconut Cream Shower Sorbet. To me, sorbet is something you eat that is cold not something that you cover your body with in warm water um, but anyway it smelled really really good I don't know if you can still buy this I got it from Fragrance Direct quite a while ago um, but it smelled good um, nothing special have another shower gel and that this one here is actually also from Enspa completely randomly this one is the jojoba and white jasmine one it smells like how I would imagine dove shower gels to smell I've never actually used one I know um, but this kind of is a standard shower jelly type creamy product nothing special again and then I have two face scrubs so this one is the Dermalogica clear start pore control scrub I thought it was quite good it was really sort of scrubby I like a scrubby scrub um, something that really exfoliates the skin I didn't find it did too much um, in terms of pores and blackheads and all that kind of thing so considering it's quite expensive I wasn't impressed and I think it also has plastic in it which I try and avoid with scrubs these days so won't be repurchasing this one. One that I would consider repurchasing though is this one here which is in like a toothpaste type tube so you can get everything out. This is the Soap and Glory scrub your nose in it and it's so so scrubby exfoliatey it makes your skin feel really clean and it works quite well as well so would recommend this one from Safe Glory also cheaper than the Dermalogical one and just to throw it in here because I have it here this is just a sample of the Crabtree and Evelyn I always thought this was tobacco and orange it's not tobacco and orange it says Tarocco orange which I don't really know what that is but not what I thought it was but it did smell really good um so yep that one Lush used to do a um, bath bomb with tobacco in and it smelled really nice, not like cigarette smoke or anything horrible like that, it actually smelled nice. Um, but on to makeup, I actually have a few bits of makeup today. So makeup empties! We'll start off the mascaras because they're not so interesting. So this one here is from Collection, it's called Pump Up The Volume Loud Lash Mascara. Nicely dried up. Got a curve on the end of the wand, so not a completely curved wand. Um, not a big fan of curved ones, not a big fan of this mascara, I just found I made a mess with it as I do with all mascaras that have a curved one, so not for me, maybe for you. This one here though I absolutely loved, this is the Sleek, oh wow, what is this called? Sleek, I think it's called the Sleek Mega Volume Lash Mascara. It has a wand a bit much, a bit like the Benefit their real one, so it's got like a little blob on the end. It's also a tubing mascara, so it doesn't make a mess, it doesn't smudge, it stays on really well, kind of waterproof and really volumizing. So highly recommend this one and I really need to go out and buy another one for myself. I also finished up my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it's just an eye primer. I've had this for ages and it's the best primer I've ever tried. It is expensive, so I'm kind of umming and ahhing over whether to get another one because I do like some other ones that are a lot cheaper like we're talking sort of three, four pounds as opposed to, I'm not sure how much this is, probably 15 to 20 I'd say. So very expensive, very good, but some cheaper things that are very good as well. So would recommend it though. I'm also gonna chuck this one out. As you can see, there is a tiny little bit left in the bottom, um, but it's really hard to get out now and it's getting a bit old, so I'm gonna chuck it. It's the Barry M Lip Gloss. It's just the standard. I think they only really do one like this. Um, and it's number 11, which I think is called Coral despite the fact that it's pink but it's a really nice sort of subtle milky kind of pink and I think it smells kind of fruity so there you go that one's going in the bin and last up I actually have a foundation I finished foundation this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation this is actually the foundation I wore on my wedding day not this one because this one was finished up another one um, this one is in ivory which 
I have pale skin, it matches, um, but it gives really, really good coverage, and it kind of makes your skin look sort of like airbrushed and flawless. It's such a good foundation and so cheap. Highly recommend it. If you're interested, the makeup that I'm wearing today is all going to be listed down below. I've done a post on my blog with all the products and pictures and everything like that, so list down below if you're interested. Those are all my empties. I hope you enjoyed me talking about my rubbish and what I'm throwing in the bin. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye, guys.